Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SJ Games Live. I'm here with The Desolation of Blarg. This is the next set for the Munchkin Collectible card game. Uh, it's coming out May 30th, and we've got some early boosters here. Uh, we've actually opened four of these already, this entire booster box. Uh, we've opened four previous videos, the link's in the description below or above, or wherever it is on Facebook. Uh, you can find that there, and uh, we opened some pretty cool stuff. One thing you'll notice when we start opening these, if you didn't check out last week's video, uh, there is a Fun With Rarities notification, so we have these stickers on this first print run. You might not be able to see that, but the stickers indicate that the rarities are going to be a little bit mixed up in this set. So there's a lot more rares per pack because of a randomization issue that we had. Uh, so there are some packs that might only have commons and uncommons, but they're very rare. More likely, and what we're, we've been seeing as we've been opening packs, is you're going to get more than one rare per pack. Nothing's guaranteed at this point, but... Uh, it's pretty good odds, so if you're interested in checking out this first print run, make sure to pre-order it at your local game store now. Again, this is coming out May 30th, so this is really early. Uh, but we're going to crack some packs. Let's take a look. So uh, We're going to take four off the top here. Those four look good. Set that aside for now. Let's see. Let's do this one. Pop into this. I'm going to try to go through some of these cards one by one so it'll take a little bit more time. Cool. Okay, we're starting off with a common here. Uh, this is Hardvark, uh, Monster Beastie. This is a neutral card. When this is hired, it gains three power for each committed weapon until the end of the fight. So that's cool. It doesn't destroy weapons, but it gets stronger if they've used weapons. It's got four life, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty hard little arc. I like it. Got the Cutosaurus, another neutral beastie. Uh, this is uh, two cost for a two, uh, two power, one heart, or one life. Squish target, committed weapon with three stars or higher. So it's kind of like another um, uh, Ferris Oxide monster from the first set. So if you're like if you're into destroying loot and stuff, that's a really good one. That's a common. Another common here, Beast Be Gone. Uh, so <laughs> that's awesome art from Lardo Souza. A loot trinket, a three star loot trinket. When a beastie monster controlled by your opponent survives a fight, this deals one damage to that monster. So, uh, one thing you're going to notice in the set a little bit more, these types that have been in the first set are going to actually make a little bit more of a difference. The first set didn't really focus on it. They were just there. Some some cards like the Walking Dreads were undead. Uh, some cards like Squirrel were beasties. Uh, those are going to start playing a little bit more of a role. That's a common. Got the second aid kit. <laughs> zero co or zero uh, level loot trinket. Zap. Move target hired beastie monster. So, again, the beasties. Uh, or yokai monster, another type that's in the set to its owner's stash face down, then squish this. So you can, if your opponent hires a beastie, you could move it to the stash without it doing damage. If you hire a beastie and it looks like it's gonna get wiped out, you can save it. That's pretty cool. I like it. Ooh, we got our first V from the, uh, this one. The tithes have turned. I believe we actually pulled one of these in the last four, which is really cool. Uh, play when your opponent commits one or more gold to a start a fight. Move one of the committed gold to your purse. Your opponent stashes the committed card and any remaining committed gold is returned to their purse. So you, you pretty much you steal one of their gold and you stash their monster. So that's kind of cool. It's a mischief for the cleric. Oh, a Cutosaurus. We just saw that one. Again, guys, the randomization's a little mixed up in these, so we're going to see some weird repeats. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. The Boring Beetle. One gold, one power, two life. It is as boring as possible, but hey, it's a cheap monster, which is good, and it's a beastie. Another V, so here we go. This is where we're talking about those rarities are mixed up a lot. The Sticky Shield. Two-star, loot trinket. Use when your opponent commits a weapon. Zap, collect one. So collect one is you put a token on this card. Zap, squish target weapon that has stars less than or equal to the number of tokens on this. Then squish this. So essentially, uh, if whenever your opponent uses a weapon in a fight, you can use this to collect a token. And the st more tokens you get on it, the bigger weapon it can destroy. So that's really cool. Oh, we previewed this one on the uh, on Twitter, I believe, recently. Robin Hoodlum, two gold ally. When this monster is committed to a fight and the monster is hired, take one gold. So by that, take one gold from the stash, or not the stash, excuse me, from the uh, uh, from what's it called? The stockpile. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> so if you use this uh, ally, if it actually is committed to a fight um, and the monster actually does something, you get a gold back. So that's pretty cool. That's a common. That's a thief common. Got an uncommon boot to the head. Uh, me a good one art. Two gold mischief treachery. Deal one damage to target hero. That hero spills two. So if you're into spilling decks, that might be a good one. Reign of Brains. Uncommon. Wizard's my favorite, but this is a wizard card. Let's see what it does. Something good. 
One gold for Mr. Treachery. Target undead monster gains three power for the fight. Squish that monster into the fight. That's really strong. Get some damage through. And looks like the last one is Fire. This is a Bard Treachery, Mr. Treachery. Squish all monsters with two power or less. Ooh, I like that. That's really cool, actually. Uh, so take into account, this can be used on... When you use it, it does squish monsters that are face up in the stash as well. So for four gold, the Bard can wipe out quite a few monsters. That's a really good card. I like that a lot. Let's crack into another pack here. I'm going to put... I like fire, honestly. I'm going to leave fire on top. That's a really cool effect. I like that one a lot. Let's open another one here. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> That's a funny one. Uh, expensive care unit. It's a location. Heroes must commit at least two gold when starting a fight. When this is squished, give your opponent one gold. Okay, so that's cool. You have to actually really buy into the fight. Not a lot of cheap monsters. Bob. <laughs> he's an ally. Uh, he's got an X gold cost. X equals the total number of allies in play named Bob. When this comes into play, deal one damage to target ally. So Bob... Uh, wow, interesting. Huh. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like a... It changes. Oh, we got another Tides of Turn. If you want this V card, this box is the one for you. Uh, we did see that one a second ago, though. Uh, the Manual of Health, Loot Trinket. It's a three-starred three, three -starred Loot Trinket for Cleric. When you gain a level, you heal one. Oh, boy. I think Guy is going to like that one in his deck. The Bearer. Uh, I think we might pull this last time, but I've also been using it in some of our previews online. Uh, again, if you haven't checked it out, I'm sharing a lot of previews on our, our Facebook page and Twitter. Check those out. Like our page. All that good stuff. Uh, the Bearer is two gold, uh, two power, and two life. As long as you have at least one zap weapon in your horde, it gains two power. Wow, that's really good. Especially for, this is for the warrior. The warrior has a lot of weapons that can use smack, so they can use it on their turn to zap them. Then hire this monster. The Ice-Filled Bathtub. Location, heroes do not unzap during the unzap step? That is brutal. That's a common. That's a really good one. So essentially, if you're worried about clerics using their ability all the time, or thieves that keep drawing cards, this just makes it to where they stop doing that. However, of course, you, you won't be able to use your ability either, so you just have to be aware of that, I guess. Uh, Mercenary is another common here. Common... Uh, neutral ally when this is committed to a fight all weapons gain two power until the end of the fight so that's a good reason to commit there's never really been a solid reason to commit allies and weapons to fights and i think this is a good one that's actually a solid reason to do that uh, that's really cool house hunting he's hunting a literal house i love it uh the cleric mischief two gold look through your deck and choose a location card reveal it and move it to your hand then shuffle your deck so it's like a uh, tutor card for uh, locations that's really good uh, enchanted Coat Rack, one star, loot trinket, zap, zap target armor, then spill one. So you can get rid of some armor. The Savannah Lion, our first rare, or actually not our first rare, that we had to be in this pack. Uh, but it is a rare, our first regular rare. One gold for one power, one life. Uh, if you overpaid for this, heal three and squish this. And it has lifo suction. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if you don't use the effect, if you don't overpay for it, it's going to do one damage and you heal one. So you're going to heal something because it has liposuction. But if you want to just heal three real quick, you can just kind of overpay for it, pay two gold instead. Bingo, bango. Cool. Contingency Plank. A one-star loot trinket. Use when you, an ability squishes a loot you control. Zap this. Cancel that ability. Oh, wow. Zap this. Zap and squish this. Sorry. Cancel that ability. This is an interrupt. Wow. So they, it's it's harder to squish your loot. Mr. Waffles. <laughs> this is adorable. A ranger. It's a five-star loot weapon. Five power. Uh, five defense. Monstrous five. Again, it's a keyword now, so we don't have to spell it out every time. But essentially, you can pay five gold. Turns into a five monster when, when you're playing monsters. And that's the last one. Ooh, Mr. Waffles is a good one. I like having him on top. Um... And I'm going to put the Savannah Lion on top. I like that effect. I think that's a really cool, flexible effect. And he's a literal lion, lion so I'm going to leave that one on top. Uh, let's open another one here. So, so far, so good on the pulls. Like I said, these rarities really make it worth it when you're opening packs up. Uh, it's really weird. You're not going to get as many of the commons and uncommons that you might want, but 
I feel like I can get those probably later. These, it's pretty cool to get these a lot of these rares now, especially with my normal luck. Uh, we've got snakes on a plane. Oh boy, we're at it again, guys. Sorry about that. One, <laughs> one gold for a monster beastie. He's a one power, one life uh, monster. He's got survivor. You can squish this to draw a card. So if you see if he survives and you don't you don't necessarily want this monster anymore, you can squish it and draw a card, and has regenerate one. Got the hard bark. We saw him a little bit earlier. The Me Too medallion, uncommon. Uh, this is a neutral card. Uh, loot trinket, two stars. Zap, draw a card. Your opponent may give you one gold to also draw a card. So you're going to get cards off of this, which is awesome. And your opponent might get some too if they pay enough. <sighs> the ice filled bathtub. We saw that one. That's real good. Trash panda. I know we pulled this one last time, but trash panda. You may squish one unzapped loot in your uh, in your horde. If you do, it gains four or gains. Yeah, sorry, I can't speak today. Gains two power for this fight. So it's a four cost, four power, four life. You can get a little stronger if you squish your own loot. Oh, first rare here. Accident. Uh, Centaur Warrior. Uh, Mischief Treachery, one gold. Play when a fight has been declared. Roll the die. On a one or two, take the amount of, uh, shown on the die as damage. So you might just take damage. On a three to six, the attacker must stash the committed card, then move all gold to their purse. So uh, that's a little bit of a more random version of Smite Unseen, but that makes sense because Smite Unseen costs a little bit more gold. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Another Centaur Warrior card, a Meat Shield. Uh, one rank, loot armor, zap, prevent up to two damage dealt to you by target monster. If that monster is a beastie, again with this, the creature types, you must then squish this. This is an interrupt. So it prevents damage to you by a monster, which is really good. But if, they ha if they're using a beastie, it's one time use. Solid card, really solid card. Spider, yokai. So he's a spy and a spider, that's awesome. So he's an uncommon. Uh, costs one gold, one power, and two life. Uh, target opponent must reveal one random card from there. And so information, you get a little bit of information there. Finder's Keepers, it's a thief card. Oh, the Mia Goodwin art is awesome. One gold for a Mischief Treachery. Squish, tar squish a loot you control. Look through your deck for a loot card. Reveal it, move it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. I like that. That's a really cool way of searching up some good loot. Maybe you have a cheap, something like a 11-foot pole out there, and you haven't drawn any good loot. You can play this, get rid of it, and get something better. Oh, a V. Copyright protection device. <laughs> Uh, Edwin Wing's art is amazing. This is a wizard card, so of course I'm going to like it. Stick this to target hero. That hero takes one damage for each card they play that shares the same name as any other card in play. That's really cool. So if they're packing three of all their cards, uh, just keeps them, keeps them honest. Makes them where they can't just play three lame goblins on you without taking a lot of damage. I really like that. Got Cheetah. Okay, that's a cool one. Sketchy. Uh, it's a three cost monster for three power and three life. And if you've Sketchy, that means if you cheated early in the turn... This gains two power. That's really good. Oh, we got one more, sorry. Oh, it's rare too. Good thing I didn't skip it. Concert security, a three gold monster beastie. Uh, uh, it's got three power and three life. Remove target committed ally from the fight and move it to its owner's horde, keeping it zapped. Wow, so not only does the ally not get to block you, it stays zapped. That is punishing. I like that. I'm gonna move that wizard card to top because I love pulling very rare wizard cards. Let's leave that one there. We've got one more today, guys. Hoping for some more wizard stuff. What else do we want here? Man, I actually haven't had a chance to really look through the set. This is the first time I'm getting to see most of these cards. Even though I'm doing some previews online, uh, I haven't really got a chance to look at everything. So this is this is awesome. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking for rares, though. Craven, Centaur. This is an undead monster. I'm a really big fan of the undead. If you know, we just actually have kind of spoiled our next set for the year after Fashion Furious. It's going to be Grave Danger, and I hope there's a lot of undead. It's a 4 gold, 3 power, and 4 life monster. For each loot in your opponent's horde, increase the power of this by 1. Ooh, that's solid. So it gets a little bit stronger. Oh, there it is, the namesake. Blarg themselves. 5 gold, 5 damage, 5 life. When this damages the defender, it deals 2 damage to target monster and defender stash. It's an uncommon. That's solid. I like it. Oh, we got we destroyed most of these. The end of, end of improbable rooms, yes. Again, this is a W. We destroyed most of these, so we should be getting some of these in pretty soon to start destroying. You might start seeing that on Facebook as well. It comes into play zapped. Each hero may have any number of locations in play. No player may have any more than one of any copy of location in their horde. When this leaves play, squish all locations. So this, this is the first thing that lets us play more than one location. That is going to be very, very interesting. I am intrigued by this a lot. 
I there's a lot of weird combos out there with locations. I, th I hope someone comes up with some cool stuff for that. Ooh, overcharging Rhino. I literally just shared this one on Facebook. If you're following us, uh, four gold for four power, four life. Uncommon for Centaur. If you overpaid for this, look through your deck and choose a beastie monster card with three power or less. Reveal it, move it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you overpay for it, you get another monster. I like it. The Wounded Pride. Five gold. It's a neutral beastie. A six power. Ooh, only two life, but it does have regenerate. You just have to pay a gold. So a uh, little bit weak on the life side, but very strong on the power. Extens oh, expensive carry unit. We saw that one a little bit earlier. Uh, beast be gone. Yep, we saw that one earlier too. Bear, saw that one. Common, these are all commons. Oop, got a rare. Oh, it's a, it's a wizard. Ring of Zots. Uh, loot Trinket, three star Loot Trinket. Each time you play a Mischief, collect one, which is something the wizard does a lot, playing Mischiefs. Zap, move up to two tokens from this card to target hero, ally, or monster. Okay, so to explain what that's doing, every time you play a Mischief, you're putting a token on this card. You can zap this to move two tokens from this card to a hero, ally, or monster, which means you can do two damage to target hero, ally, or monster. I will definitely use that. Free damage for playing Mischiefs. I like that a lot. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces of artwork in the set. White Knight. Two gold for two power and two life monster. Deal one damage to target monster that is not undead. That is just, that's just solid. It's just a solid monster for Cleric. I like it a lot. Boot to the head. We just saw that one. Man Eater. It's new common. We haven't seen that one. That art is amazing. Wow, Mike Lucas. That's super good. Uh, three gold for a three power and two life monster. Zap the Defender's Hero card. If the Defender's Hero card is already zapped, the Defender instead spills one. So if you've been using your hero again, you get a little bit of punishment, you get to spill one. Ooh, what are we going to put on top on this one? I gave the wizard some love. I would normally put the Zots on it, but I'm going to put the W because that's just super cool that we pulled a W. And that's what we got, guys. Those are our pulls. So that's our preview for this week. Uh, I'm always sharing previews on our Facebook page, so again, please like the page. Uh, check out our Twitter, at SJGames. I'm sharing uh, previews on there. We've actually got some other previews going online right now. Uh, I know unstashed.net, one of the fan pages, actually posted a couple previews that are official from us. Uh, we'll have some more coming up pretty recently. Uh, pretty recently. Coming up pretty soon uh, in the future. And you can actually win some of these cards. I put the instructions below. But if you like our page and comment below with your favorite card from this pool, so like whatever card you like the most, if you like the End of Improbable Rooms, put it below. Uh, next week we'll be picking a random winner to win one of these packs. So try that now and definitely like the page for sure because you'll get alerted when we do more of these pack openings and you'll get alerted when we do more previews and digital stuff. And make sure to check out your regional. We did announce the regional series. Check out your stores near you. Uh, there's a list of stores in the description below that are running regionals. And let them know you're interested and sign up if they're taking pre-registration. Some of them are a little bit sooner than others. Uh, but we'll have a little bit more information as we get a little bit closer. There's going to be some more tournament rules posted for those. Uh, but they're starting to come up. Those are going to be in June, so they're about a month and a half away. But, guys, thanks for joining us for this SJ Games Live. Check out some more openings next week. We'll see you later.